What up, motherfuckers? Um, first hot day in England for a long, long time, so I figured I'd uh, use the natural light and do a live video. I've never done one of these live before, so let's see how it works out. <clears throat> okay. So, this is the big ass 10k per month PPL slash site rental getting leads part one. Right, the reason I say it's part one, getting leads, is because there are two aspects to this. It's One is the actual creation, the ability to get leads for people. Um, the second is actually selling its people. Um, the second one's pretty fucking hard, so um, you'll have to watch the video. But I don't personally love this model, which is why I don't do it. Um, I have done it in the past. There's some examples I'll show you in a little while, but so it goes. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to give you a really basic overview of how to make any of this shit work, right? So, traffic plus conversion rate optimization, CRO, plus calibration equals leads. And I've given you some examples of places to learn those things. So me, for traffic, just as an example, if you want to use SEO or some, um, some minor paid things. Um, Nick, I want to say Disabato, don't know how to say his name, um, runs a really cool um, conversion optimization newsletter, which I pay for. Um, it comes out once a week, it's called, I want to say it's called Revise Weekly, but I'm not entirely sure. And calibration, I teach this, but you're generally going to have to do this yourself. If you want to have an idea of what this kind of thing is and um, how to look at it, you want to see www.danray.me forward slash C-A-L, Cal, for calibration. Sweet. So if you can master this, you can pretty much sell anything in on the internet, right? If you can get traffic to something, you can convert that traffic, and you can calibrate based on data and results. You'll get leads for absolutely anything. So that's the end of the video, and I'll see you all later. Now it's fucking me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You have to know your numbers. That's one of the most important things when selling shit like this. So you need to ask yourself some questions, kind of like... <clears throat> How many visits equals a lead? So how much traffic do you have to buy? Um, so say you're doing FB ads. That's Facebook. If you're doing Facebook ads, how many, how many do you need to send, how many people do you need to send to your page for them to fill in or whatever your conversion thing is? The second question is how much does a lead cost? So how much are you paying for that traffic? Hang on. How much are you paying for that traffic that you need to get a lead? And then how much can you sell a lead for? If you can't sell a lead for more than you're buying it for, get out the fucking business. It's stupid, right? So this is why I'm going to go into this in the next video, but I like to target people who, <coughs> excuse me, I like to target people who can make my entire cost, my entire monthly cost off one sale. Um, it sounds hard to do, but there are a fuckload of these things that nobody else is targeting. I'll give you some examples in the next video. Um, and obviously, that needs to be the, the price you can sell a lead for needs to be higher than the price you can buy a lead for. Makes fucking sense, right? Um, I will get to your. I can see some comments coming in. I will get to them, um, but I'm just going to run through this first, and I'll answer them afterwards. Okay. So choosing the correct model is the way to do success. Um, and who are you selling to? We'll get into this in part two, just because it's a. It's the type of thing where it's not so it's not as common sense as you think because most people have a natural consumer mindset. So you're thinking, who do I buy from? B two B is completely different mindset, and I'll talk about that in the next video. Okay, there are four variations of this model, and there are probably more, but these are the four that came up when I was planning this. So selling leads directly. So it's like you know a lead costs ten pounds, for example. Um, Every lead I send you, you pay me 10 grand. You can rent a site. So if you, if you're, if you're getting, I don't know, 15 leads a week from a site, you can just say, we're, we're generating 15 leads. Do you want to rent the site? And then every lead either below or above that, they're all yours. Um, you can rent pages on your site. So say your site is 
um, focused on different locations. So London, Manchester, Leeds, for example. Um, a London business will buy the London one, et cetera, et cetera. Um, another one is percentage of sales. <clears throat> We've just seen a post like this in the group where it's like, you know, you get a part of the business or a percentage of the sales. The reason that I don't like this one is simply because you're not in control. Like you're sending the leads, but you're not in control of the sales process. So who do they talk to once they, once they become a lead? Um, how good are they at closing leads and stuff like that? Um, you can't control any of that, so I don't like to work on this uh, thing. Many, many people every week offer me a fucking percentage thing. They say like, you know, I'll bring you um, leads, whatever. They want me to be like the fulfillment for their SEO agency. Turn them down flat. <coughs> My mouth is very dry today. So essentially, the goal here is to find a working model and replicate it. This sort of model, um, it's going to be different in different industries, different uh, formats. Um, we'll get into that in a little while. But some things that you'll need. So traffic, obviously. Um, a landing page and an autoresponder. So that's just the traffic goes to the landing page. Those people are then contacted via an autoresponder. A good offer because no one's going to buy something that's shit. Um, generally, you'll need a domain. So, you know, to, to host your landing pages or whatever. Um, I like call tracking, so I'll buy like a geo-targeted number and then um, so it records the calls so you can then go back and check if, like some people will complain like um, the lead was shit or it wasn't good enough, it wasn't high enough quality. What you want to do is make sure you have the recordings of these calls so you can listen back and you can say actually they were genuinely interested and you fucked it up. Um, it's just good to have that kind of thing on the back burner. Um, you'll probably need some hosting if you're doing it this way. There we go. It's because you need to host your domain, obviously. Um, or you could fuck all of that stuff and just have traffic and click funnels. This is where all the smart marketers would have a click funnels affiliate code because they make millions of pounds doing that. But I don't have one, so fuck it. <laughs> right, so I think we're done with that side now. Over here. Um, I'm going to show you two examples of funnels. I'm not going to show you the actual examples, but explain to the examples. Um, and give you some ways that I've used them and what kind of leads we generate for people. Is anyone watching? Couple, couple of comments too. Um, I'll get to the comments after I've finished the video. So I've just split out the funnel into the basic concepts here. Traffic, step one, f uh, landing page, email lists and retargeting to actually send the offer and an actual offer itself. If you have all those things, you're gonna be pretty much good. Um, I've used this kind of funnel for um, a bathroom installation site, <coughs> excuse me, I used a um, site rental model for this. So bathroom installation in Leeds, whatever, um, and then sold it, uh, rented the site and eventually sold it. Um, boiler repair and replacements. So I have a friend who does it, just to help him out a little bit, we set him up this kind of funnel. Um, he's making thousands of pounds every day now because he just hired a guy to go and do all of his work for him. So now he has leads and automation, so it doesn't work anymore. What up, Dan? <laughs> He's not in the group, so you won't see that. Um, and a restaurant directory. This is something I don't talk about very often, but I used to run like a directory thing. It was like um, the best restaurants in Leeds, um, and people would pay me to be one of the premium advertised ones on it. Um, traffic was came in millions of ways, so leaflets in hotels. I even bought like a QR code on the bus. Um, but well, that was deemed illegal because they didn't want people scanning shit when they're driving in the car or whatever. The idea was to target people who were in Leeds as tourists um, and get them to go to restaurants. Because everyone's just like, where do I go to eat? Because there's fuckloads of restaurants in Leeds. Um, I put the leaflets, paid, paid hotels to let me put leaflets in them. And then every one of those people um, downloaded the app. It wasn't really an app, it was more like a web app. So it wasn't like an iPhone or whatever. Um, this is something that, this is the second type of funnel now, um, it's a little more specific. You have to have a very, very specific um, target in mind. So I'm going to show you an example for a personal trainer um, targeting new mums, right? This was like, some of the, most of the people who are interested, especially in January, of um, 
losing weight, hiring a personal trainer, going to like boot camps and shit like that. Um, people who've recently had babies, they're also really easy to target on Facebook, so um, I chose them. What you do is you say, um, <clears throat> you have a little video ad. Video is important here because um, they're so cheap in terms of views and getting your face out there. So get X for free. So this is your first offer. Get whatever it is for free. So this was like a um, come to the mummy baby belly boot camp or some shit like that. Um, just just like a, a group um, group training thing. Once they they have to um, they click on the ad. They come to a landing page where you take their email name and number, whatever um, whatever of information you want. If they leave all that shit, they then go to a thank you page, and it's this is quite important. It's quite powerful. Offer X, which is a second thing that's deemed valuable, if they call you immediately. So right now you have their information, but to actually um, get them to call you is invaluable. So um, something else, it's like um, get your first individual premium training session. So it's like an hour just on your own, right? Get that for free if you call now. If you do that, you've generally got a client. Um, this is what we found from running this actual funnel. Um, everybody who lands on this page should be retargeted via Facebook, AdWords, whatever networks you're using, um, and also email them. Um, but make sure the retargets are video ads because, again, super, super cheap. We're looking at one or two people per view. Um, if you know about Canvas and you want to set one up, Canvas ads are fantastic because it keeps stuff in Facebook. It makes it even cheaper because... Facebook don't want people going to, to leave their ecosystem. So if you can keep somebody on Facebook via a Canvas ad, um, it's fantastic because Canvas is just your, whatever your landing page is, but just hosted on Facebook. Okay, so I use this for a personal training. I just gave the example of targeting new mums. I use this exact same funnel for um, used car buys. So it wasn't like... Um, People selling cars, it was people wanting to buy cars and then they sell them um, at showrooms in person. <clears throat> and also, it was a, quite a weird one, motocross ignition systems. These things cost like 30, 40 quid to build, um, but they sell them for like 200, 300 quid. So um, the profit margins are huge, so they can afford a lot of ads, especially if it's video. Um, and motocross people are very, very fucking easy to target. So I've underlined this over here because it's very fucking important. Find the angle, right? If you can find the angle to, to um, interest people in your video ads, it, it's fucking, it's a gold rush. It's so easy to do. Um, I've written down some traffic sources here. There are a bajillion more of them, but some basic ones. So <coughs> Snapchat, which believe it or not, still has some validity in the world. Um, LinkedIn, never had success with LinkedIn, but some people do. Um, Facebook groups, you've seen this one, but here I'm talking about um, local Facebook groups. So the, the um, where is he? The boiler replacement guy, his traffic came from these Facebook groups. So he'd go in and be like, get your, you know, get your boiler checked up for free this winter because British Gas are charging the fortune to do it. He'll do it for free. Um, when he got there, he'd be like, stick a sticker on the boilers and be like, you know, call me if it breaks. Every time a boiler broke, they go to check the boiler, they see his no number, call him straight away, and he's got a 200, 300 pound job. Um, SEO, obviously. Um, Instagram, fucking fantastic, especially if you're in these sort of industries like um, personal trainers and stuff like that. The better you look and the better you can make yourself look on Instagram, you'll drive a footload. Um, I'm looking at doing a case study where I grow like 100,000 Instagram following and see what the traffic's like from it. Don't quote me on that, but I might try it. Um, sites like builder.com, and there are, there, are, there are loads of these things where it's just like, you know, to find somebody specific to do whatever job you have. Um, Facebook ads, YouTube, banner ads. So find that I am... Um, I got several SEO clients once from a web design, a local web design. Now, what was it? There was, there was a web design one and there was, um, I can't remember what it was. This is a specific trade, but a forum dominated the SERPs. 
and I just bought a banner ad on there. You know, if you want more customers, whatever. It was it was to to do this sort of model. Um, just buy a banner ad on these sites that have your audience on them. No problems. Reddit is fucking fantastic, but you have to be you have to be okay with banter because you will get ripped to shreds on there. Um, AdWords, obviously, Thumbtack, people like that. If you find the angle, um, find a traffic source, give them a good offer, and that's the the crux of this model. Um, we'll get into the how to make ten grand from it in the next video, which I might do tomorrow. But I've had this written up here for like two three weeks. And I've only just got to it, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm not really looking forward to editing this one for YouTube because I feel like I didn't look at the camera very much. But fuck it, natural light is how it is. Um, right, let's see what the comments are like. See what the comment look like. This this app that I use no longer tells me. The comments that people are making. It tells me that people are making comments, but doesn't actually show me them. So I'm just gonna go on Facebook and have a look. Oh. There's only one. Rick Dugmore. Hi to you too. Um if you've got any questions about this, leave them below. Tager as well, what up Tager? How do you do this son? Um yeah, that's it. I'm going to try and edit this for, face for YouTube now. Not looking forward to it because I feel like it wasn't my best, but live video, sunshine, natural light, let it go. Right. On that note, I will see you all probably tomorrow. There's a, we're doing book club tomorrow. If you want to read the first two chapters of A New Earth tonight by Eckhart Tolle, um, yeah, 6pm tomorrow, be there or, you know, don't be.